to help a vehicle run. I know, it's something else, isn't it? It is part of the biofuel formula that's no longer a thing of the future, and it's neat knowing a lot of those soybeans used are grown right here in Nebraska. Yeah, and here to explain <laughs> the world of biodiesel, everything biodiesel, Andy, Andy Waddle, thanks for Good coming. Good to see we you, Andy. Yeah, thanks for having me. So uh, for people out there not familiar with biodiesel, explain the concept, what it is. And biodiesel is an advanced biofuel, but it's also blended in. It's a, it can be a combination of used cooking oils, uh, animal fats, or something such as soybean oil. That's kind of where we come in. And then it's blended in with regular diesel fuel, and you get a certain blend. Uh, most common you'll see is a 20% blend. Yeah, well, what are the benefits of it? Um, there's many different benefits for many different people, and that's the nice thing about it. Uh, you get a better engine lubricity, up to 65% better. Lubricity, I, know. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which for those of you who don't know what engine lubricity really does, it, it makes your engine function cleaner, function better, and it also lets your engine last a lot longer too, so that's real nice. A lot of people think that maybe it's not great for the car when you start going away from the traditional stuff, but yeah. it's not the case with the performance in biodiesel. Well, how, no. does that, how does it affect the car? Oh, it helps it out. It, uh, like I just mm -hmm. said, it helps it last longer, and we've seen that in a lot of buses too. Hey, all right, you're talking about the benefit to the car, but is there a benefit to the environment here too? There is. That's a nice thing. With uh, like a 20% blend of biodiesel, which is mm -hmm. kind of the average blend, you'll see up to a 75% reduction in greenhouse gases, which is a very welcoming thought, especially if uh, a mother is putting her child on a school bus mm -hmm. and send them to school and that bus runs on biodiesel. Or if you're just hopping on a city bus to get right. to work or something like that well, too. That's a significant so. reduction, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We were taking a look at that pump. When I look at the <laughs> pump, I think of price. So uh, how does the cost compare to regular diesel fuel? That's the nice thing right now with kind of the tax incentives and tax credits that we have going on. Uh, biodiesel is very, priced very right. And it's a, it's a premium fuel and usually you have a premium price, but not right now, that's a nice thing. So it's uh, equal to or just a few cents lesser in regular diesel fuel at the pump but the thing is if you go there and it's it's not it's not at every station right now so mm -hmm. if you go there and it's not there just ask for it it is at a number of places though in nebraska and in just a minute we're going to show you a map so that you can figure out where the nearest location is if this is something you're interested in. We love edamame at our house. We yeah. <laughs> eat a lot of soybeans. I love it at the and restaurants so so, too. I know, it's so strange to think about it in a, in a vehicle. Uh, but why <clears throat> does the Nebraska Soybean Board support biodiesel efforts? Connect those dots for us, yep. Andy. Like I said earlier when I explained bio, biodiesel, uh, we come in because we support Nebraska's nearly 24,000 soybean farmers across mm -hmm. the state. And uh, we support the products that come from soybeans, and soybean oil is one of those products that come from soybeans. And uh, a lot of the soybean oil goes to production in biodiesel, so that's why we support biodiesel. Well, it's a huge industry mm -hmm. in the state yep. of Nebraska as well. Sure we were is. taking a look at that map. Uh, if we could pull that map up again, we're going to show some of the locations where right. uh, the biodiesel is if, available. If you log on to NebraskaSoybeans.org, right? Yep. It, there's an area there, there's a, a rotating banner that comes in and out of the screen at the top of their home page. And the second banner is about uh, finding the location nearest you and it essentially leads you to this page. And then you can search by state. And so if it's Nebraska or if you're traveling, you're going somewhere else. But you see all the different locations there, and so yeah. you can find the one nearest you without driving all over town to do it. <laughs> and that's the Omaha area right there. I saw Sap Brothers on a lot of the mm -hmm. map quite a bit. Right. The Lincoln area has a couple of locations there, too. So what's coming up next? I feel like this is such a cutting-edge thing. What's next for soybeans? Can you give us any, <laughs> any insight here, Andy? Hopefully drier weather so we can get them growing right now. No but, kidding. Uh, yeah. Um, no, we're just going to keep pushing this. Uh, new yeah. uses. There's a lot of new uses out there, and this is this is one of them. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the newer vehicles that you pull the emblem up on the screen are going to like a flex fuel or a, a greener burning fuel, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, that's something we're going towards too. See, the B20 on there stands for that's biodiesel, and that's a 20% blend. Yep, so, 20 yeah, well, blend. the benefits are incredible. You said it, 75% reduction yep. uh, in greenhouse gas emissions, and you know what? If the decision happens at the pump, and that's the only effort required out of us as consumers, <laughs> yep. and the cost is comparable, I hate to use a cliche, but it's sort of a no-brainer. A second ago, we were talking about the Nebraska Soybean Board's website. This is it, and then that's that rotating banner uh, that if you click on the, the second option, and there it is, you're going to be able to find the location near right you. To click to we can map. still eat soybeans. Yes. 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 We can, <laughs> and you're still of supporting. Course. No, no, no. But I'm, and you're still supporting initiatives like some some local businesses that make all sorts of things for our home yep. out of soybeans. 
It's very versatile. We got many different uses for soybeans, and uh -huh. we're trying to promote them all at the same time. All right, soybean oil is the name of the game today. Yeah, go to that website, check out all those uses. Good stuff. Thank you very much for yeah, coming. By for the way, the website one more time is NebraskaSoybeans.org. Thank you, Andy. Nice yeah. to see you. Thank Always you. sure you were to go to uh, online to learn more about biodiesel and the Nebraska Soybean Board. Well, you'll find us at OmahaMorningBlend.com. Watch show clips about whatever you like, whenever you like. It all starts right there at our homepage. We are into the.